Dame Nellie Melba was the light and inspiration for all the Australians in 1920s. She was the first Australian to gain an international reputation in the arts and was one of the first two women to become a dame. She adapted the professional name Melba to acknowledge her native city Richmond, a suburb of Melbourne. In 1887, she made her debut as an opera singer at the Theatre Royal de la Monnaie in Brussels and it made an immediate hit. She was gifted with a remarkable voice, perfect pitch and range of three octaves. Being a female, she had to work harder than any other men did and she was turned down countless times. She was captivated in London in 1886 but was told to keep on with her studies. However, she quickly found another opportunity in Paris with Matilda Machesti who immediately recognised her potential. Men would always look down on her because women were not supposed to be an entertainer. But she never gave up, and that made a truly talented musician like her. Her hard work gave a huge impact on all the women in the world at the time, when they were stereotyped to be housewives and looking after children. Although she performed in major cities including London, Paris, Milan and New York, she kept effective contacts with the Australians. She covered 10,000 miles for a concert tour to all the states and even many remote towns. She introduced music and opera to people and she became the role model and the light for many Australian women. Iconic Australian food such as Peach Melba and Melba Toast were even named after her. She is said to have gained 21,000 pounds from the concerts in Sydney and Melbourne alone, of which her takings of one Sydney concert set a new world record. When World War I broke out, she raised funds for war charities in Australia. And in 1918, she was awarded the Dame Commander of the British Empire. This elevated to Dame Grand Cross of the British Empire in 1927. In 1927, she performed at the opening of the newly built Parliament House in Canberra, where everyone celebrated. She was also invited to sing for Queen Victoria at Windsor and Tsar Alexander III in Russia. The applause was said to have lasted for 10 minutes following her outstanding performance. Between 1904 and 1926, she made almost 200 recordings and was often referred to as the Voice of Australia. To remember her great achievements, her contribution and significance to the Australian history, the current Australian $100 note features the image of her face. Her amazing 38-year career on the world stage will always remain in the heart of the Australians.